Hello my lovelies, it is Tuesday afternoon and I can't believe it's 3.30 before I'm actually speaking to you this week or today even but today is my wedding anniversary and so we've been busy just having a really lovely day to ourselves it's actually been a very chilled day, I feel like a very lucky girl I got up, had a shower, washed my hair, had time to do my makeup, didn't have time to do my hair properly as you can see because it's just all, you know, undone, just yeah, quick blow dry. And then we went to the most gorgeous place, a really lovely Michelin starred restaurant called the Orrery and had just a wonderful lunch. You know, it's one of these places where they give you a little amuse-bouche in between courses and things like that and I mean service was impeccable food was just lovely uh, we both come home pretty much in a food coma that's how we both feel I'm just on the school run but my husband is literally in a food coma at home we've had such a lovely time we were supposed to go out for dinner tonight but then we have also another dinner tomorrow and I can't I just don't like doing two dinners out in a row um, that sounds terribly spoiled but that's what happens at this time of the year so I asked him to change our anniversary dinner to lunch and I'm so glad I did it just felt actually so much more decadent way more decadent than um, rushing it through dinner you know especially on a weekday on a school night and all of that but yeah so we're just home now and I'm sorry I didn't chat to you first thing this morning um, but you know just having time to ourselves I've realized that we've only got six weeks before the end of the year so I need to start getting myself organized for well end of year activities but also for the new year I like to be organized before the new year starts so I'd love your tips on getting organized for the new year but right now I need to concentrate on driving and going and getting my little girl so I will catch you guys later I loved my outfit today as well I wore the new dress that I bought while I was in Budapest from can't pronounce the name Rina Cimentio or something like that Rina Cimentio anyway I'll put it in the description box below and I wore my new Topshop sock boots which I love which you will have seen in my um, autumn haul style update video um, yeah I really loved it and I, my husband loved the dress as well I did think it might look a little bit mumsy at one point but the boots just brought it bang up to date and like yeah it's just really really I love my outfit today, so i try and put a picture in here somewhere. Just making way for the ambulance to go through. Well, I'm back from the school run and properly, properly in comfies. I'm trying to have a cup of tea as well, but it keeps going cold in between doing things. So I've microwaved this tea twice and I think I should just give up on it now and go for a fresh cup of tea but anyway yes today is my wedding anniversary tomorrow is my husband's birthday and I think I've already said all of this stuff so I'm just repeating myself 
but I feel like I haven't really chatted to you properly so far this week and it's already um, a five o'clock on Tuesday evening but it is a busy week so if you've got the patience then definitely stick with me for the rest of the vlogs I've got some fun stuff coming up this week there's also a lot of really fabulously exciting beauty events this week and beauty launches most of which I can't go to because of anniversary and birthday celebrations which is so annoying so much is happening today and tomorrow by the time you see this video Glossier's pop-up shop will have been open from Wednesday onwards so hopefully you'll see this video on Sunday but the pop-up shop I think is only open for a week from Wednesday the 15th so I hope you have gone along to that. I will obviously have talked about it on my Instagram story so if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen all about that already. Uh, I think it's only open till the 22nd. Let's hope that it's a precursor to a permanent Glossier store because that would be really good fun. Yeah and there's loads of other stuff that I just can't make it to. There's a skincare launch as well. I just, I don't know. Um, I think it would be really mean of me to go off to work events when I know my husband has taken the two days to just be for us together. So I'll just have to not go to them. It's, it's tearing me apart. It's really bad that it's tearing me apart as well, isn't it? It shouldn't be the case. But I guess after 18 years of marriage, you kind of feel like you need to balance these things. Anyway, I am rambling and I need to go make a second cup of tea <laughs> because the first one just hasn't worked out. And I think I want to paint my nails again because there's a chip on this nail, which you can or can't see, I can't tell in the monitor, but yeah. So I'm gonna paint my nails for tomorrow's festivities. Oh yes, the other thing I wanted to tell you was I'm wearing my new um, Hourglass lipstick in my handbag, hold on. This new Hourglass Confession lipstick and I've got it in the shade I'm Addicted. I will link this for you down below. I think this is the perfect autumnal nude on my skin colour. Absolutely gorgeous. I paired this with my Hollywood Honey. No, I haven't. I paired it with Foxy Brown Charlotte Tilbury's lip liner and I just think it's just perfect for an everyday autumnal nude. Sorry, I'm looking at it in the in the monitor and I think, yeah, it's really, really lovely. It's got the right amount of sheen. It's not completely matte. I love it but I do have to get on with a little bit of work just because I've got a few things in my head and I want to put them down on paper before I lose that thought and I want to put them up on the blog quite soon. So I think I'll do a bit of that. I know my husband's on some work calls, so that kind of works out. So I think I'll leave today's vlog here for now because the evening is gonna be spent doing more family stuff with the kids for the anniversary and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, my lovelies. It is actually not morning, it's afternoon and I really want to talk to you about where I've been this morning but I will do that when I'm sitting peacefully and calmly at my desk because it's really important and I really want to talk to you about it but I'll do it when I'm not walking around but right now I am heading to the m and Press Day for their Spring Summer 18 collections which is always really inspiring so hopefully I can take you with me
Didn't manage to film anything <laughs> when I got back, but I will. But we are off out to dinner now for a family birthday dinner. So I will try and catch you all up on everything tomorrow. Every other vlog in the time. And look at you. Oh, oh it's the timing! later because there's actually quite a lot to talk about. I'm currently on my way to the Larry King hair salon going to go and see the gorgeous Lucy, sort out my hair colour which has been needing a refresh and an update. I'm going to get it cut by Lily as well. I've got some gorgeous flowers here to give to Lucy as well and um, I've actually got offspring number two with me. She's going to spend the day with me and she's carrying all sorts of lovely treats that we've just bought from Starbucks as well because we're going to be there for a few hours but I'm squinting at you because it's horrible weather in London it is rainy like it's spitting rather than raining and I can't bear it so I'll catch up with you inside the salon Good morning, my lovelies. It is a quiet Sunday morning. I mean, it's always quiet in my house because I'm the only one that's ever up. Um, but I feel that, well, I know that this week's vlog is going to be a weird one. I haven't looked back at the footage. I haven't started editing or anything like that at all, but I know it's going to be a weird one because I know it's been really sporadic in terms of filming. And then yesterday was completely and utterly a fail because I had my camera with me, but the battery in my camera was dead, and my spare battery that I normally carry around with me um, was also dead. But I know that there's been stuff that I wanted to catch up with you on, and one of those was something that I did on Wednesday morning, and that was going for a breast screening for, you know, a mammogram. And now it seems so long ago, although it was only four days ago. But I just wanted to just talk about it a bit and just, talk about why it's so important. We've had breast cancer in our family, in my immediate family, and if it hadn't been for screening, early screening, we might not have saved that, that person. So without going into too much detail, I think I might have gone into more detail on the blog before, but I find it hard to talk about because it's so, so close to home. 
But what I wanted to say was, if you get a letter from your hospital inviting you in for a breast screening, for a mammogram, please, please don't ignore it. Don't even try and change the appointment. Change something else. If you have to change something else, change it, but make sure that you go to that appointment because it's literally a minute or a minute and a half of discomfort. It's not painful. It is merely discomfort but it's something that could save your life. And I think for, you know, a couple of minutes of discomfort every three years, it's really not a huge ask. So yes, off I went to my mammogram, even though it was on my husband's birthday. But like I said, this was so important, more important than anything else on the day. Um, it was a bit of a joke, actually, when my appointment letter came through. My appointment was at 9.32. Yes, not at 9.30, at 9.32. And I got there for 9.30. And I, I honestly mean it, I was walking back to my car at 10 o'clock. And I know that because my parking was running out at 10 o'clock. So actually I was running to my car at 10 o'clock so as not to get a parking ticket. But literally you are in and out really quickly. Um, I think a lot of these breast screening units run separately and I mean, part of the hospital, but they run a very tight ship and they, because they're just a, a very uh, distinct, <coughs> very distinct unit. And so they can run to time normally. So yeah, got in there at 9.30 and was running out of the door at 10 o'clock. And that was great, it was fine. And that included a little bit of chit chat as well. So that tells you how quickly it's done. So please, 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 Never forget to go for your breast screening or your mammogram. If you have not been asked to go for one and you feel that there is something different about your breasts, um, you feel different or it feels different when you touch it or anything, it looks different, there's any discharge, anything at all, anything that is out of the ordinary or that worries you, don't sit at home worrying. Just don't. There's so much information out there. There's so many people that you can talk to. It's not like it was when my family member went through um, breast cancer. And at that time, there was literally no information. There was, I mean, it wasn't the fault of the NHS at the time in the sense that that, that information wasn't available and people didn't talk about it. It was still treated very much like a taboo. So um, when that family member left the hospital, her loved ones were told um, if she survives five years, she might. If she doesn't, she won't. Thanks, bye. And that was the level of care then. So look how far we've come. And I'm not, that's not a complaint and that's not a criticism. That's just how it was then. So what I want to say is look how far we've come. There is so much support out there. Even if it's just because you're afraid, you may have absolutely nothing wrong with you, but the support level's there just to have someone to talk to and allay your fears. And then you just, if you haven't been invited in for a breast screening, go and book yourself in for one. So I think I've probably repeated myself a couple of times there in amongst my rambles, so I'm sorry about that. So moving on to what we did yesterday. <laughs> I went to go and get my hair done. It hasn't been cut since the very beginning of August and it got so long, it had got so long and a little bit straggly at the bottom. So as you can see, I have had a good couple of inches chopped off by Lily at Larry King and I had my balayage redone and refreshed and we've toned it down a little bit more again by Lucy Holbrook, also at Larry King, just because it was looking a little bit bleached out you know, who knows what I'll do next summer, but just to keep it warm and um, looking, yeah, just looking warm for the winter. So and look, I've had my layers cut back in again. I'm so happy because it was, it was beginning to get really hard to style because these layers had grown to about there, which is really hard to style. But it's very thick at the bottom now. It's like all those little feathery bits at the bottom <laughs> have been chopped off. And because I took my daughter with me, we decided to go shopping or just window shopping actually yesterday. We didn't buy anything. And she wanted to go to Harvey Nicks. First time she's asked me to go to Harvey Nicks. So we spent a good hour just going through the beauty department at Harvey Nicks. Probably looked at just about every counter except for Fenty. Oh my goodness. The queues at Fenty are still ridiculous. When I say at Fenty, the queue is outside and it was raining, but the queue is outside on the pavement, outside Harvey Nicks. 
So we didn't do that. And we did go upstairs and have a look at the clothes. She was horrified at the price of some of these clothes, uh, which is good. I'm glad she was horrified by those. And that was it. We had a bit of a family evening yesterday and I think that we'll be doing that today. But I think that I might end this vlog here because this has been quite a long ramble. I think I've been talking for about seven minutes now. And I hope that most of what I said made sense. And I hope that um, if you have any questions about it, please do ask me. As I said, we've had breast cancer in my family. I am on it when it comes to checking myself and attending my breast screenings, my mammogram appointments. And if you have any questions, if you want to ask me, you can email me. I'll put my email in the description box below, you know, if you want to just talk to me privately about something. Um, and I think it's something that I might write another blog post about because it is so important. And yeah, I know I'm going to go on and on about that now. So I think the best thing to do is say bye now. I probably won't be filming anymore. I'm filming this on my phone because I forgot when I got back yesterday to put either of the batteries for charging. So my battery is currently charging and I'm talking to you on my iPhone. So hopefully that won't bug you too much. This is on my iPhone, but I will see you guys in Wednesday's video. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments on any of what I've just been talking about, then obviously get in touch, either put a message in the comments box below or send me an email. See you guys next week. Bye.